Hello viewers, this is IT System Admin, a complete troubleshooting solution for you. Today, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows Server 2016 auto shutdown problem due to trial license is expired. Sometimes it becomes very important for you, so don't forget to watch full video. Are you experiencing an auto shutdown problem with your Windows Server 2016 due to the trial license expiration? Don't worry, we have got you covered in this video. We will guide you through the steps to fix this issue and ensure your server runs smoothly without any unexpected solution. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to fix this issue. My server is Windows Server 2016 Data Center Edition and look, my Windows Server license is expired. Now I need to fix this issue. Okay, click on search bar, type this PC, right click on this PC. Click on properties. Now click on advanced system settings. Under advanced tab and startup and recovery option, click on settings. Now uncheck automatic restart. And now click on OK. Then OK. And remember, it is under Advanced tab. Click on OK. Now close Settings. Now again, click on Search bar, type PowerShell. Right click on Windows PowerShell and click on Run as Administrator. Windows PowerShell has been opened. Now I am going to resize the PowerShell. And I am resizing the font size so that you can understand my command what I am going to type here. Now click on Start, click on Settings, Settings Explorer has been opened. Now click on Update and Security. Click on Activations. Look, the Windows is not activated and license has been expired. Now I'm going to run command to activate this Windows Server 2016 data center edition. Type the command SLMGR space hyphen DLB. Hit enter. Look. This is the license information and license key and other information here. Now click on OK. Type again SLMGR hyphen REA REARM. Now hit enter. Command completed successfully. Please restart the system to save the change. Close PowerShell. Close settings. Go to a start menu. Click on power option. Now click on restart. And then click on continue.
after restarting your computer look the license has been activated for next 180 days that means next six months click on settings click on update and securities click on activation look windows is activated and the license key number is visible here that's mean your problem has been fixed close setting this is the easy way to solve this problem this is all for today hope this tutorial is helpful for you keep watching for next tutorial thank you very much